Welcome to Trojan Boat Works. Today, Captain Tom's going to show you how to install new raw water impellers. This show is brought to you by the motion picture Hunting Bigfoot, starring Jamie Janik and Ben Utek. It's an action-packed adventure with the CIA, space aliens, hillbillies, a cable TV show, and a lady Bigfoot. Available now on YouTube and Amazon Prime. Check out Hunting Bigfoot, movie fun for the whole family. Hey y'all, Captain Tom here. Hope she floats too. Uh, it's that time of year. Impellers, two engines, two impellers. We're gonna take some time. We're gonna dive in the bilge. We're gonna show you how to do them. We got our impellers from Robert Cushman Beacon Marine. Uh, he's got the right ones for your Trojan. Uh, he knows all the different ones. There's quite a few. These are for Sherwood pumps. So we're gonna jump right in and uh, pull the pump off. Before we do that though, one of the things we're gonna do is we're gonna take a, a Sharpie and we're gonna mark the hoses um, so you don't get them backwards going back on. It's super easy because when you turn the pump around and take it off and all that, it's easy to get them mixed up back and forth. I actually did that once and when you do it, you got absolutely no water coming into it. So then you gotta do the whole thing over again. We don't wanna do that. So that's why we're watching the video today. So we're gonna jump into Sherwood pump Impeller hoses on the Trojan. Let's go. Okay, now looking at the motor, this is the pump right here. And those are the hoses we're going to mark. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen the tensioner bolts. Felt looser than it was. Loosen the tensioner bolts so that I can take this fan belt off. There's one on the top of the slide, and then there's a second one on the bottom. And a regular rotation. And you really can't get a socket in there, so you just kind of got to loosen them a little bit. And then you can see, look at that, the pump comes pretty free. So, pull that belt off and just kind of push it up out of the way. So now this baby's loose, so we can take off the hoses. Take the bolts out the rest of the way. Okay, both bolts are out, and the pump, as you can see, is... Okay, so we've got the pump off, and as you can see, it's a Sherwood. So, let's take it apart, see how it works. It seems to be turnable, so there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with it. I don't see any parts in there. So, let's take it apart and um, see what we got. It's going to take a 7 16 wrench, and as you can see, you've got little, three little... 7 16 bolts right there. Just take them off. They come off fairly easy. And it acts as a ship's bell. 
Two bells all as well. We'll find out in a minute. <laughs> so there's the first one. It's also got a washer, so be careful you don't lose those. Hate for one of these to come apart underway. That'd be a problem. I've had impellers go out underway. Actually, in this pump. Probably, oh, maybe three years ago. It's right after I bought the boat. So, we got it off. And you slide this part of the housing off. Okay, now as you notice, you're going to, oh, very nice. All of our splines are in order. Nobody's broken off. Everybody's there. So, that's good. We got it in time. So, what we will do, though, is we want to take note of which direction the spline is pointing or the roll of the spline for the directionality and this shows at the top right here so as this thing rolls like this it's going to be forcing water in these up into here and going around and picking up more and forcing more water so anyway it goes towards the top so we want spline towards the top so we'll just wedge this baby out now i'll tell you it feels pretty supple but you know it's not that old but it does hold its shape pretty well so it means it's been in there a while. Let's look at the splines themselves. Well, this one's in pretty good shape. I don't know if you can see in there or not, but if you look right down inside, I'll try to get light. There's um, there's no cracking or anything within the splines, which is um, slightly different from the other one in the other motor. As you can see, it's got a line right across it. So these were literally about six months difference in age. Same manufacturer, they're Sherwood splines. So this one was, I would say, could be a problem down the road if we didn't take, uh, if we didn't get a new one. So, but the one that came out, perfectly supple, feels great. So, let's look inside, is there any debris? Ooh, what did we find here? A piece of spline. Yet, we are not missing one. That's never fun. Did it come off the other one? No, it did not. So, that brings up another thing. This is why you want to learn to do your own work. Okay, obviously, somebody had one of these. This one right here changed by a mechanic at a marina and uh, the other one had come apart and they did not take the parts out. Here's one right here of a just disintegrated. I don't know if you can see it, but the rubber itself is kind of disintegrated. So that means it could have been up in there. So then the next question is, we got to look in the rest of the motor, see if we can find any more parts, even though this one didn't come apart somewhere it did down in the past so that'll come up next so for right now everything else looks fairly well clean it's like it was lodged in one of the uh, inlet slots within the housing okay so that all looks pretty darn good so what we've also got here is an o-ring so we're going to want to pop that o-ring off i take a small straight bladed screwdriver pop the o-ring off we'll be replacing that with a new one in the kit all right so speaking of kit let's see what comes in the kit these we got from beacon.net beacon marine robert cushman trojan savior of saviors and let's see in the kit we get a ooh, something fell Ooh, we get a brand new impeller we get a new o-ring to replace the flat o-ring and so that's the new one and then we get a multitude of gaskets. And then if you need instructions beyond this video, which you won't, but in your guys, so the chances of you looking at these are pretty slim. But here's an instruction with all the different documentation that you will never really need. Okay, so we know our gasket's kind of a triangle gasket, so it's not that one. Round, round, ha ha, triangle gasket. Fits perfect, okay. 
So, this one gets the O-ring seal. The triangle gasket goes underneath here. And um, one probably could get away without popping this off and changing that. But I like to check all that stuff to see if there's been any kind of wear or anything funky that's been going on. So, um, like this. So what we gotta do is we gotta pop that off. Now, those can be a little hard. So I have to get a little more challenging device. And then what we do is we just take, there's like a little flange right here on the edge. And you just pop it and then roll it over and pop it. And you can see it comes right off. Now, what we will need to do is clean all the gasket material out. The old. I used to use a razor blade. Just come through, scrape her down to clean metal. Comes off fairly easy because it's been in a moist environment, so it's not really too terribly caked on. Get under it. There we go. We'll probably speed this part up on the video. So we just get all that old gasket material off. And the moment you start it up when there's no leaks, this effort's worth it. Almost there. I see the end. Okay, so that's all cleaned off. Um, that side, but now we got the plate flange. <clears throat> it's always good to wipe everything off, see if there's anything funky going on. Show some wear, but it's not. It's not terrible. It sounds like wind's got the lines going here in the marina. It's a nice day here, but it's windy. Okay, so after you've got all the surfaces clean and, you know, all the gaskets off, then it's time to put it together. Make sure your splines are going towards the T. Remember, we did that. Then just simply slide it back onto the key, aligning the holes where you took out the three little 7 16 bolts. And then just put them back in. Essentially, you're just going to put it together the exact same way you took it apart. Only new gaskets and new impeller. Now, I've had no need to prime these when I put them together. Um, they just self-prime, I guess, because my water level is low enough in the boat. So that works out very, very well. So as you tighten them down, you do it like a head gasket. You do it in uh, kind of in a circle, get you know, a little bit tight, a little bit tight, a little bit tight. You don't want to warp anything because it is soft. And you can ding it like a ship's bell. <laughs> All right. So getting ready here, let's get this thing. Um, well, water's already coming out. Let's get this thing installed on the boat. And what do you know? She is running perfectly, self-primed. So she fired right up. There's the bubbles. And you can just see a ton of water flow down there. So the new impellers are doing their job. So there you go. Hope she floats too. New impellers. Hope this video helps. If so, please hit like and subscribe. And uh, we sure appreciate it. See you next time. Trojan Boatworks.